Good morning, Hermitage. I'm Madeline Halstead. And I'm Jack Kutz, and here are today's headlines. In world news, we have bad news for TikTok stars working for the European, European Union. The continent-wide government banned the app for its executive branch last Thursday amid concerns that top government secrets could be leaked by the seemingly innocent social media service. The ban will start on the Ides of March, so until then, some advice. The seemingly nice dancing device may come up at an awful price. Maybe Instagram will suffice. In special announcements, breaking news, zombies attack. Before you lose your brains, go to yearbookordercenter.com and use the code 25268 to purchase your yearbook. Trust us, you'll want a record of your life in the year 2023, BZ, before zombies. February is Black History Month. Every day we will be airing a video on black culture, black celebrities, and black people of inspiration. Today we take a look at Chef Marcus Samuelson. Ethiopian-born Swedish-American chef Marcus Samuelson first came to America in 1994 to begin his cooking career. He quickly gained popularity in New York and has now opened more than 10 restaurants. He's been featured on many culinary shows like Chopped and Top Chef, along with having the opportunity to cook for world leaders such as Barack Obama. His passion as a chef is to share the black experience through food. Be sure to grab one of his cookbooks the next time you find yourself at a bookstore. I wouldn't mind a trip to his restaurant. That would be yummy yummy in my tummy. Along with our segment on Black History Month, every day we will also have a HBCU of the day. Today's HBCU is St. Augustine's University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Be sure to stick around for tomorrow as we give you our final historically black college or university pick for the year. Well, that's all for our news and announcements. Now let's take it to Zania with the sports. Thank you. I'm Zania and I have your sports and activities for today. On Friday night, our boys varsity basketball team took on Glen Allen in the regional semifinals and after a hard fought battle came up short. Great season, gentlemen. Also this weekend, members of our winter track and field team competed in states. Be sure to tune in on our episode tomorrow for the results. That's all for our sports. Now back to the main desk. Thank you, Zaniah. Now let's take it to Alex with the weather. Good morning, I'm Alexander Betts and I have your weather forecast for today and tomorrow. Today will be rainy with a high of 59, a low of 52, and a 60% chance of rain. As for tomorrow, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 68, a low of 38, and a 0% chance of rain. Wow, it sounds like tomorrow will be real nice. Now back to the main desk. Thank you, Alex. You know, maybe the rain will be over next month. Let's hope that these February showers will bring March flowers? I think you got that backwards. Yeah. But you know what we never get backwards? Finish, finish the, the lyrics! We'll play a small portion of a song for a staff member and they'll have to finish the lyrics on their own. So let's send it to Martini with today's guest, Mr. Briley. Hello, I'm Martina Gamel and I'm with Mr. Briley to see if he can finish the lyrics. Are you ready? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Roses really smell like boo boo boo. Okay, okay. Yeah, roses. Yeah, I know that one. Okay, listening back to the main notes, see if he was right. I was. Thank you, Mr. Barley, and you were right. right. Well, that was mighty fine. And it didn't stink. Well, that's all we have for you today, Panthers. Have, have an, an Outcast Monday. Monday. Bye. And I know you like to bang you. Don't stay. Put on no makeup in the mirror and
crash, crash, crash into a ditch. Just plan. She needs a golden calculator.